Netflix's Avatar, The Last Airbender Season 1 introduced the Fire Nation's greatest weapon two seasons before the original show. As the villainous entity of The Last Airbenders for Nations, the Fire Nation possesses the same immense importance to Netflix's live-action Avatar that it did in the original show. From the exploration of the Fire Nation's more evil characters like Admiral Zhao and Azula to shedding light on more morally grey characters like General Iroh and Zuko through the latter's backstory, the Fire Nation's importance to The Last Airbender Season 1 was evident. Perhaps the most evil of the Fire Nation's servants, however, is Fire Lord Ozai. Daniel Day Kim's villain was shown as a successor to The Last Airbender's Fire Lord Sozin, continuing the latter's war in a bid to bring the four nations under the Fire Lord's control. As such, Ozai used the various tools at his disposal in an attempt to capture the Avatar and bring the other nations under Fire Nation rule. One such tool was introduced in Avatar, the Last Airbender Season 1 ending, revealing one of the Fire Nation's greatest weapons two seasons before the source material did. The Fire Nation War Balloon is introduced early in Netflix's Avatar. The War Balloons play a greater role earlier in Netflix's live-action show. The Fire Nation War Balloon landing in the Northern Water Tribe's oasis in Netflix's The Last Airbender. The weapon in question is the Fire Nation's War Balloon. In Avatar, The Last Airbender Season 1 finale, Admiral Zhao utilized a war balloon to covertly sneak into the Northern Water Tribe in his bid to kill the Moon Spirit, thus ensuring victory against the Waterbenders. These balloons were teased earlier in Netflix's The Last Airbender Season 1 through the character of the Mechanist, aka Sai. Sai was found in Omashu by Aang, Katara, and Sokka, and was secretly feeding weapon designs to the Fire Nation in return for his son's safety. Point one of these weapons was shown to be a hot air balloon, which Sokka even helped perfect the designs for. This aspect of the balloon's origin tracks with the original Avatar, the last airbender animated show, though they were introduced earlier in Netflix's live action. The balloons did not come to fruition in the original story until midway through season 3, something Netflix's Avatar, the last airbender changes due to their inclusion in the season 1 finale. Why didn't the Fire Nation use the balloons to conquer the North? The Fire Nation balloons could have been useful in overcoming Agna Kelly's defenses. The inclusion of a war balloon so early in Avatar, The Last Airbender Season 1 begs the question of why more were not used to help conquer the Northern Water Tribe. Given that the city of Agna Kelly is surrounded by icebergs and a near impenetrable ice wall, the balloons would have been a great help to the Fire Nation in overcoming their enemy. However, the reason why the balloons were not used in this way is explained by Sokka in Netflix's Avatar, The Last Airbender Season 1 finale.